In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a moody sunset paint finish. I used Iron Orchid Design Transfers. I ended up mixing Cowgirl Coral and Kissing Booth to make the Pepto-Bismol Pink. I needed Petticoat Pink, but it was in a different town and I really needed to start this project. This piece was listed for free on Facebook, so I ran and got it. It was a really cute style and really original and it was solid wood, but it did need short up. It swayed left and right, so I cut some boards to make it braced in the back. This pink is frightening, but I used some salt wash and it will mix with any kind of paint that you have. This is DIY clay paint and I sell it. And if you need any of the products, just message me on my Decorizing Your Life Facebook or go to my website. I have all the links in the description box. So after mixing the salt wash in, you just put it in your base coat and it needs to be icing consistency and you brush it on and then you take your brush and stipple it and let it dry. Then you put your top color over, which you see here is weathered wood. It looks black, but it's weathered wood wet. And when it's dry, it'll be a dark gray. For some of the transfer that I used, I used a scrap wood that I had cowgirl coral watered down and just glazed the board. And I think it looks really good. And it was a compliment to this piece after I finished it to stage it together. Here I am using some crinoline, which is a creamy white. And I leave the middle kind of the pink color, just kind of a highlight. And then after it dries, I put sandy blonde on it and it looks really good. It looks like that sunset finish that I was going for. Just like how I did the drawers, I'm just adding some sandy blonde and some prairie gray and just kind of blending it with what is on there. And you do that by spraying it with the spray bottle and you just kept layering it and layering it until you get a look that you want. Now I am taking some prairie gray, which is a little bit darker than the sandy blonde and just adding some more blending and some more touches to get this look. These transfers are so fun. Now I did take water-based top coat, our big top in DIY, and put that all over the piece and let it dry for 24 hours because you need to do that before you put the transfer on or it will not adhere. Then you either seal it with wax or you seal it with the big top, but I chose to use a wax as you will see. These transfers are so fun and can go on mirror, glass, walls, furniture, metal. They can even be put on fabric. You just need the proper sealer and you do not have to seal it when it's on mirror or glass. So here comes the magic of the salt wash finish. So when you sand it, the high peaks that the salt wash creates really chips off and makes that really chippy weathered look. And it is so fun. Okay, I tried to put the transfer on and forgot to seal it first and it will ruin your transfer. As you will see, I have to do some repair work here because it caused my transfer to not stick so I'm using some big top on here and I'm trying to get it to stick and it does not it is a mess so I just am warning you to sew your piece and let it dry for 24 hours and so now I'm just hand picking off the transfer and trying to put it back on you can patch it back together and make a really distressed look but it's not fun and so just properly prepare your piece and you will have success. So I had sealed the top before I did the transfer and let it dry for 24 hours, but totally forgot the sides. So then when I remembered to seal the sides, guess what? I was impatient and didn't let it dry. And that was the problem. Then my big top all came off on my transfer. And so I'm having to hand patch it. It 
ended up still cute, but it took a long time and I lost some of the transfer. And so just be patient, seal it before you put it on and wait 24 hours for your paint to dry and the big top to dry. Normally when you use a dark wax like I did here, you need to put a coat of clear wax on first so that you can more control the depth that the colored wax makes. And here I have already sealed it with the water-based top coat because I put a transfer on, so I didn't have to do that step. I just went straight with the dark wax I don't know why I kept adding and adding, but I decided it still wasn't what I wanted. So I took Golden Ticket and I took a brayer and rolled it onto the In Kindest Regard stamp and put that everywhere. And then I still added a Crackle Iron Orchid stamp in a green color. So it turned out really good, but it took forever to get all these layers but that is how you get that look is you just have to keep adding and keep working with it until you like it. <laughs> 